Hi, this is my video on the Urban Decay Naked Palette versus the Too Faced uh, Natural Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I first got the Urban Decay Naked Palette and I paid less for it than I, than I think it is now. I think it's uh, £35. I know you can pick it up in Debenhams, uh, House of Frasier, on the website and also if you're in the US, Sephora and Ulta and all the usual places basically that sell Urban Decay. Um, so I got mine last year and as you can see my palette has seen better days. Um, I adore this packaging. A lot of people don't like the fact that it's like a suede feeling and dust tends to set on it but obviously if you look after it and you keep it in a you know a nice clean place um, I don't think it is too much of a problem. Um, the gold lettering on mine as you can see is fading um, and with mine I got the double ended liner pen pencil um, the 24-7 glide on eyeliner pencil in zero and whiskey um, my whiskey one has got a kind of a weird fault with it though if you can see the end falls out <laughs> but the um, black liner is fantastic they're really soft really creamy and I'm gutted that they've now decided to change that for a brush because I think that was a better idea so in this palette you get 12 eyeshadows um, everything from your everyday neutrals to your smart smoky uh, evening looks I take mine on holiday uh, and if I stay over somebody's house because it's just so adaptable like I say you've got the day looks the neutrals and then the smoky looks as well which is brilliant um, and it is a bit pricey but I think the palette is really worth it and if you're gonna get a natural palette this is definitely a fantastic one you cannot go wrong with it you also get an Urban Decay primer potion um, you used to get that in the genie bottle but I believe that you would get it in this new squeezy tube that they do now um, so for £35 bear in mind you get 12 shadows primer potion and now a brush where I got a pen pencil um, this is I believe um, I think you get about 13 14 around 13 to 14 grams of product total um, if I do get that wrong I will pop it in the corner um, but yeah you get around 13 14 grams of product now with the Too Faced palette you get 11 grams 11.4 grams of product so slightly less this is 26 pound I believe um, you don't get the shadow insurance that they do you just get the palette you used to get a brush but mine didn't come with a brush um, I know a lot of people complain saying the brush was wasn't too good and that it was a bit pointless so I'm assuming that Too Faced have listened to that and decided against putting it in there although I don't think the price has gone down where I think if you've taken a product out I would assume that the price would drop and on the stands they had the palette still with the brush and it's not a dodgy palette because I bought two I bought a backup because they were on offer um, so it's not just one palette so there you go um, so I've got the neutral eye palette and I love the packaging it's really solid really well built uh, looks really professional really lovely palette and with this one you get nine shadows so again you get neutrally colours with a couple of smoky eye colours here. Um, there are top three, the top three are really matte, completely matte. The next three are very shimmery um, and the bottom three I would say are the most shimmeriest and this one here big chunks of glitter. If you're not a fan of glitter you won't like this colour because it is very glittery and it feels rough as well. You can you can feel the chunks of glitter in there. Um, but I would use it. I think it's a fantastic um, eyeshadow and obviously if you're using 
the uh, Pond Potion that you can buy from them. That would be fantastic. I know they also do a glitter um, glue for eyeshadows as well. So I'm presuming that's what they would expect you to use. Um, and as you can see, it is now the same thickness as the Urban Decay palette. So it is nice and sleek, nice and small, and I definitely think that you could have this in your handbag or obviously travelling as well. Um, it would be a lovely palette and it would keep nice. has the magnetic uh, holder here. And my only downfall on these colours would be that with the Urban Decay Naked palette, I use Sim as my, this one here as you can see is almost gone. I use Sin as my highlighting colour underneath my eyebrow. Um, I've tried to use Heaven as my highlighting colour because really that's the only one in there that I would use. And it doesn't really have any pigmentation and kind of vanishes on my skin. So for me, I don't really like it because I like the fact that the Sin on Urban Decay has a slight frost to it. I like that look much better. Um, and so yeah, my favourite colour would be Sleek Teddy this one here, uh, Honey Pop, and also Push Up, so that one, that one, and that one, they're my three favourite colours, um, and I like the fact that the crease colours are in a smaller than the, obviously, all the all, all over eye colours, does make sense, um, and I really love it, you also get the cards in here, you get three cards, uh, you get fashion, day look and classic look cards. So this is really useful if you're giving this to someone as a gift who's only just getting into makeup, gives them a really good help on how to use the palette. Obviously you don't get that with the Urban Decay palette. I would say the shadows are as pigmented as Urban Decay um, and are long wearing and I wore them out on Friday night and they were oh no they were no better or no worse than Urban Decay and I love Urban Decay shadows so I was really really happy with that. Um, if I say about the two if I had to pick one I would definitely pick the Urban Decay Naked palette because I use this all the time all the time for the past year since I've had it I use it every single week sometimes every single day of the week. It is a fantastic palette and I would definitely pick up another one and I would recommend it to anyone looking for an eyeshadow palette. There is a slight difference in price, 26, 35, nine pound difference. To be honest, for nine pound you get slightly more product, what is it, two grams more product I'd say, probably about two or three grams, I could be wrong, but you get two or three grams more product, you get a brush, and you get a primer potion. So, for me, it's a, a case of balancing that. And bearing in mind, brushes are around 10, 11, even 12 pound, I could be even, they could be even more. But adding at the cost, I feel like it's a really good deal. So I would get the Naked palette. And yeah, I just, I love every single colour in here. They're all fantastic, they all have great names as well. I love the fact that they name their shadows. Um, I would say dupes between the two palettes. Um, if I take a look, if I just show you these two palettes together, I think Honey Pot and Half Baked are very close colours. Um, and also I would say Sin and Silk Teddy, Sin and Silk Teddy. My Sin is practically gone and Silk Teddy very close. I'll swatch them together just to have a better look. But, and if you decide to get both of these palettes and you want both of them, it's not a bad thing because you can never have too many neutral colours because obviously neutral colours are the colours that you're going to use on a regular basis. They're the colours that you're going to go to work in and everyday looks. So, you're not going, I don't think it's a bad thing to have both palettes but again for me I reckon Urban Decay is worth the splurge and I just love Urban Decay. So I hope that's helped anyone who's stuck between what one to pick up. Um, I certainly when I looked on the website to see a versus 
on YouTube versus palettes. I didn't really see many reviews. So yeah, I really hope this has helped anyone who's struggling. And thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.